Welcome to our real estate briefing program. Today, we dive into the pressing issue of affordable housing, as the U.S. faces a shortage of nearly 7 million homes for lower-income residents. A recent study reveals that Kentucky's housing situation is on the brink of crisis, with a significant increase in needed housing units expected in the coming years. It's clear that urgent action is required to support those struggling to find a place to call home. In a fascinating turn of events, abandoned buildings in Berlin, known as the Russian Houses, may soon be seized to provide housing for Ukraine. Local politician Lilia Yuzik is advocating for action to repurpose these derelict properties in light of the ongoing housing crisis in the city. Despite legal hurdles, the push for awareness and change is gaining momentum, highlighting the intersection of history and modern housing needs. Lastly, Yes Housing Incorporated is making strides in Albuquerque with two exciting projects aimed at providing nearly 200 affordable housing units. With construction underway for Calle Cuarta and planning for West Mesa Ridge, these initiatives are set to support low-income families and promote local economic development. It's a step in the right direction as we tackle the significant housing shortage in the area. Please stay tuned for more detailed coverage. Yahoo US highlights the urgent housing crisis facing many Americans, particularly those with lower incomes. With a staggering shortage of nearly 7 million affordable homes, the situation is dire, especially in Kentucky, where a recent study predicts the need for an additional 287,000 housing units by 2029 if current trends continue. This crisis not only affects individuals' living situations but also has broader economic implications, as high housing costs limit disposable income and spending in various sectors. The study emphasizes that both urban and rural areas are struggling with affordable housing, and without immediate action to build or repair homes, the middle class will continue to be overlooked, creating a growing divide in housing accessibility. Deutsche Welle reports on an intriguing initiative concerning abandoned Russian houses in Berlin's Karlshorst district. These derelict buildings, once homes to Soviet officers, have remained empty since the last Russian troops left in 1994. Local residents are frustrated by their decay and have called for action, especially as Berlin faces a housing shortage. Ukrainian-born politician Lilia Yuzik proposes seizing these properties to benefit Ukraine, suggesting they could be renovated and returned to the housing market. The history of these buildings is complex, with unclear ownership transitions, but the push to repurpose them reflects a growing urgency for housing solutions in Berlin amidst rising tensions with Russia. Yahoo US also showcases Yes Housing Incorporated's commitment to addressing the affordable housing crisis in Albuquerque through two significant projects. The Calle Cuarta development is already under construction and will provide over 60 living units along with retail spaces, while the West Mesa Ridge project, funded partially by the city, aims to create 128 affordable units by 2026. Both projects prioritize low-income renters and include community amenities, such as gardens to promote local food production. Mayor Tim Keller emphasizes the importance of affordable housing for family stability and community growth, highlighting the dual mission of YES housing to enhance living conditions and stimulate economic development in the area. Japan Times reports that Japan's infrastructure ministry is actively considering expanding its preferential interest rate measures for flat 35 fixed-rate housing loans, currently available only to new contracts. This initiative aims to encourage the acquisition of energy-efficient and earthquake-resistant homes. The proposed changes would allow individuals switching from floating-rate loans to flat 35 loans to benefit from these lower interest rates, potentially rolling out as early as this fiscal year. This expansion reflects the government's commitment to promoting sustainable housing practices while making homeownership more accessible. Yahoo! US highlights a remarkable construction boom in the Raleigh metro area where over 9,000 new apartments are expected to be completed by the end of 2024. This surge places Raleigh among the top cities for new apartment construction in the U.S., surpassing even major metros like Boston and Los Angeles. The report emphasizes that the region is experiencing a post-pandemic construction renaissance, with a projected 35,000 additional units scheduled for completion by 2028. Despite rising construction costs and tightening bank lending, Industry experts predict that Raleigh will continue to lead in housing development, addressing a significant housing shortage that has persisted since the 2008 subprime mortgage crisis. South China Morning Post covers the recent closures of two stores each by PriceRight, a home furnishing chain, and Tom Lee Music, a long-established musical instrument retailer in Hong Kong. These closures stem from declining consumer confidence due to economic challenges and a shift in shopping habits towards online platforms. PriceRight noted that high rental costs and competition from mainland alternatives have significantly impacted their business. 
Meanwhile, Tom Lee Music's closures may also be linked to a reduced demand for musical instruments, exacerbated by a wave of emigration from Hong Kong. The retail environment continues to struggle, with a notable drop in sales as shoppers increasingly turn to cheaper online options. Yahoo! US reports on the ongoing rental crisis in New Hampshire, where rising rent prices have prompted the introduction of a new law aimed at reducing additional costs for tenants. This legislation mandates that landlords must justify any fees beyond the standard rent and security deposit, ensuring that any unsubstantiated fees are refunded to tenants. State Rep. Ellen Redd highlighted the financial burden on renters who often face multiple application fees while searching for affordable housing, which can accumulate to hundreds of dollars. The law seeks to promote transparency in the rental process, particularly in a competitive market with low vacancy rates. A recent survey from New Hampshire Housing reveals a stark disparity between the income needed to afford a two-bedroom apartment, approximately $73,000, and the median renter income of around $57,000, with only 13% of available units deemed affordable. Rep. Kathy Staub, a longtime housing advocate, emphasized the urgent need for policy changes to address the housing crisis, sharing a poignant story about a friend who faced homelessness after a fire. While the new law is a step towards protecting renters from exploitative practices, Reed acknowledges that it alone cannot solve the broader rental market issues. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email. Got a blue so big and bright. Open it and take a flight. Learn about the stars and see. Everything is here for me. Fit the pages one by one. Knowledge under the sun.